Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to a special outreach update from Jerusalem, Israel. We're living at exciting and prophetic times. There's never been a generation closer to the second coming of Jesus Yeshua than this generation. We're not sending any dates, but we know that the time is near. We know that the veil is being lifted. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. And Jews in Israel and around the world are being saved like never before in the midst of the demonic outpouring, in the midst of what we see what's going on in the world. The gospel is going forth. There is a hunger in Israel. There is a revival in Israel. We give all the glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Yeshua. We're small people with a big God. We have been launching outreaches all through Israel, south to north, with many, many follow-ups and many salvations. Hallelujah. Most Jews who do not believe in Yeshua in Jesus as Lord and Savior, do not know the concept of the branch in the Bible. Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 5. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he will reign as king and act wisely and do justice and righteousness in the land. Hallelujah. As believers in Yeshua, we know that that righteous branch is Yeshua, Jesus, the branch. In Hebrew, Hatzemach. This is a Bible verse like many that we do not read in schools in Israel. We do not read in yeshivas, in ministry schools for rabbis. Because if they read it, they'll know that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah. Yeshua is God. So they have interpretations, rabbinic interpretations, to get them away from this Bible verse. In Hebrew, it reads like this. It's powerful. This is the Bible verse that the rabbis are afraid of. A righteous branch. Isaiah 11, verse 1. Then a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. And we know that that branch is Yeshua, Jesus. And we know Jesse is the father of King David. In Hebrew, Yishai, his name. The word Yishai means a gift. And we know that Yeshua is a gift to mankind for salvation. Hallelujah. We were led by the Ruach HaKodesh, by the Holy Spirit, to go down to Jerusalem, to the Kotel area, and to preach the branch. Many were fascinated and never heard about the branch in the Bible. In Hebrew, Hatzimach. As the Messiah of Israel Ministries team were praying, I began to preach the gospel. As I was sharing with many in the Kotel area near the cave, the cave is where the synagogue is in the hotel. An Orthodox man approached me and asked me, I hear you speaking about Semach, the branch. What do you mean by that? I introduced myself. He introduced himself as Yotam Zilboman from Jerusalem. I asked Yotam, that is a very good question. But I have some questions to ask you before we can examine and answer that. He was very fascinated and said, Kuli Ozen, I'm all ears. I asked Yotam, does a tree have branches? He said, yes. I then asked him, who is referred to as a green olive tree in the Bible? He said, I'm not sure. I said, let's turn our Bible to Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 16, and read. But before we read, can we agree that Jeremiah 11 is speaking to Israel? He said, absolutely. I said, with that understanding, let's read. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 16. The Lord called you a thriving olive tree with fruit beautiful in form. But with a roar of a mighty storm, he will set it on fire and its branches will be broken. So the question is, who is the one that's going to set it on fire and the branches will be broken? He said, the Lord. I said, that's true, Yotam. Yotam then asked, but why would the Lord do that? I said, the Lord has done this because Israel has rejected the Mashiach, the Messiah, because he is the branch. He is the tree. He is Israel in the spiritual sense. And those who reject Messiah were broken off. Yotam said, I've never heard that, and I've never even read this Bible verse. I said, of course you haven't, because the rabbis don't want you to read it. He said, why not? I said, because if you'll read it, you'll start searching for the Messiah, and you will find him. Yotam did not say a word. The Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, was working. The prayers of the believers were working. I then told Yotam, before we continue, let's get some context. So we see here in Jeremiah 11 that Israel is referred to as a green olive tree. We see that God will cut off the branches because of their rejection. We know that the man called the branch in the Bible has to be the Messiah. Isaiah 11, verse 1, we see from the root 
of Jesse, the root of Yeshai, will come, the man called the branch. And that is referring to the Messiah. Let's read Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 5. I read together in Hebrew. Hine amim ba'im, neum Adonai, v'ikamti l'david tzemach tzadik, u'melech malech, v'maskil, v'asa mishpat v'tzidka ba'aretz. In that day, the branch of the Lord will be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the land will be the pride and glory of the survivors in Israel. As we can see here, the branch, Hatzemach, is the Messiah. He is the green olive tree. He is the tree of life. And those who reject him will be broken off, as we read in Jeremiah 11. Yotam said, I see what the Bible says, but it's confusing. What you feel is not confusion. You feel the Ruach HaKodesh telling you the truth. And the truth can do only one thing, and that is set you free. And that is a biblical concept in the Bible. Tehillim, Psalms 119, verse 45. The walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments. The truth can only do one thing, and that is set you free. I asked Yotam, do you want to be broken off the branches? Yotam said, no. I said, then there's only one way. He said, what? It was time for the full gospel. And then asked Yotam, do you want to know who the Messiah is? He said, yes. I asked him, who created the earth? He said, God. I said, who can move the wind? He said, God. Who established all the ends of the earth? He said, God. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. Can someone else do it? He said, no. Let's turn our Bible to Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. Who has gone to heaven and come down? Whose hands have gathered up the wind? Who has wrapped up the waters in a cloak? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is the name of his son? Surely you know. We both agreed that only God can do this. And God is asking you, what is his name? And what is the name of his son? Surely you know. Speaking here about the Messiah, the branch. At that moment, Yotam said, I need to go. I have yeshiva class. I asked Yotam, you said you want to be set free. He said, yes. So God is calling you to salvation today. Yotam did not move. I read many Bible verses to him, such as Isaiah 53, Micah 5.2. And once again, the Bible verses about the branch, Hatzemach, Yeshua. Finally, he asked, what is the name of his son? I then answered Yotam, surely you know. His name is Yeshua, Jesus, who died on the tree on the cross for your sins. He rose on the third day. And by his blood, if you repent and believe, you have full redemption of sins, eternal life, and you will not be cut off the tree. After hearing these Bible verses, something supernatural happened. Yotam said, can we move to a different area? We're near the synagogue here. There's too many people coming out. We moved to a different location in the Kotel area. And finally, after many hours of studying the word of God, Yotam said, I want to accept Yeshua as Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. We pray right there in the Kotel area. And Yotam called on the name of Yeshua, Jesus, as his personal Savior. Hallelujah. This is not only incredible, this is supernatural to accept Yeshua right there in the Kotel area. We give all the glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Yeshua. Yotam hugged me and said, I feel different. I said, what you feel is the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. You're born again and you are no longer cut off the tree. You are back into the tree of Israel as a believer in Yeshua, in Jesus. We then walked out the Kotel area. Yotam and I exchanged contact information. He will be joining one of our discipleship training programs. Praise Yeshua. We pray that Yotam will grow in his faith and then he'll be a witness to his family and bring him into Messiah Yeshua as well. One thing is certain. Yotam is no longer studying under the rabbis, but he's studying now under the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Yeshua. Hallelujah. After this, we continue to preach the gospel as many contact informations were made. We praise Yeshua for Yotam's salvation. And we will continue to preach the gospel no matter what. And for Zion's sake, we will not keep silent.
Isaiah 62, verse 1. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet. Till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. And we know that the word for salvation in Hebrew is the word Yeshua, Jesus, her Yeshua, like a blazing torch. And he's coming back with fire in his eyes as the lion of the tribe of Judah, Aryeh Yehuda, to take back everything the enemy has stolen. And until that time, we will continue to preach the gospel no matter what. Hallelujah. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zeph Porat sending you blessings from Israel in the mighty name of the King of Kings. And Lord of Lords, Aye Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Great I Am, Jesus Yeshua, Amen. And He is the Branch, Hatzemach, Jesus Yeshua, Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue will confess that Yeshua, Jesus, is God, Hallelujah, Amen.